screen. Daniel's going to video it and record it. So, we need to have to go that end. That's got to take it. Aye. That end. Yep. Open your pocket. Oh yeah, I've got to do this, that one. Yeah. Where's that going? Just, just on your collar, yeah. Up here? It's actually pretty powerful. I was surprised then just clip that into your pocket. Just like that? Yep. Happy days. Yeah. 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 Or you can put it on the inside too. If you don't want it to dangle. Ah, that's fine. Oh, this thing? Yeah, yeah. okay. Sometimes I mean, it's easier to have it on the inside rather than the outside. It's all very official, mate. I know. Tuesday, they completely Really? Oh yeah, I told them to fuck off, leave me, we've had enough. Fuck off, get out of my chest, come on here. Really bad, worst ever. I don't know whether they'd all been drinking Rick Forty all day or what, but they just shocked All right, I'll leave that ball there then, for now. Grab these, take them down. Yeah, if you want to grab them down, yep. Oh, yeah. Hang on, boys. Alright. So, boys, uh, this is Shane Wright, and Shane's got a very good background through junior basketball that went on to state teams, Seabull, Australian, NBL, and NBL as well. And so, he's gone up through all of the levels coming through the junior ranks along the lines of what you're doing now. Alright? And the ball handling side of things is something that. Everyone does ball handle, but do they do it really, really well? And do they work on things that are going to make them beat their defender, etc.? So Shane's going to work on a whole bunch of that. So please introduce yourselves individually, even though he won't remember all the names, no. and then make a hard effort. That's it. All right. All right. No worries. Also seems called Lockie in the other half. <laughs> <laughs> no, all good. All right, and we're going to do the stuff at the other end. We've got similar balls, have we? Do I have to turn that on or something? Is that on? No, it's on, I think. All right. So, let's pay attention to Scott and Shane about what you're going to be getting through. I'm learning as you are. I don't have any idea well, what we're about to do. This is our first time doing this, all right? <laughs> just tell what's going on. All right. Now, just to be good to explain, I don't know if everybody's picking up on this, right? Shane, I, I actually coached Shane, worked out, when we, this guy coached him, under 14s, you probably might not remember it, but under 14s, I was coaching him. That was 31 years ago, right? So a long time ago. All right, under 14s, we played championship and we were getting smashed, weren't we? Yeah. And I remember he came not only stayed, he came off the court and he goes, This is too hard. I'm going, Well, you're going to have to learn to dribble, aren't you? All right, he's going to have to learn to dribble. Of course, he was getting double teamed and the rest of the team was pretty ordinary. And Shane could play better than most. So that's where Shane started there, he's working on his game. From that point, one thing about Shane, he's had some very good coaches. Uh, no, Brian Gorgian, and and he's played in America, and he's had the best coaches. But what what Shane's also done is 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 actually worked out stuff. He, he's went out and worked out stuff. He's worked out himself. Right, so he hasn't been just a, a robot that's followed people's instructions. He's worked stuff out himself. He's gone and worked on his own game. He's gone out there and been creative. And Shane is the most one of the creative guys. Now he's. You think this session is going to be about ball handling, all right? And it is going to be about handling the ball. It's not about that, all right? What we're talking about is turning you into proper basketball bodies. 
across basketball or even though now we've got guys who come down on a Monday morning to play and uh, they've been playing for years. They don't have basketball, except they don't have well, guys that are going with us to America and they don't have the proper footwork, the proper stance, and so the proper strength in their wrist and their hands. It's not just about ball handling. This is about you becoming a proper basketball body, a proper basketball. All right, so we're going to do a lot of ball handling stuff, which is great, but it's not, and we see people out there all the time doing all this stuff, and one thing, and, and it's not, oh, it's great, it looks flashy, but it's, 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 it's useless. All right, so we're talking about using ball handling correctly and actually, you know, stuff that you can actually use and get better at, in games is actually going to help. Shane, this guy here was the best ball handler in the country at the time, and you know, I haven't seen anybody better than him. All right, so if you're going to talk about ball handling, all right, he, was, you know, he probably doesn't agree, he might not agree, but no, I definitely agree. Yeah, he agrees. Yeah, right. <laughs> all right, I don't think anybody can handle the basketball like that. And I coached, the last game I coached at Siebel, he was in the opposition team, and we spent like the whole three sessions before that was just how to work out how to defend him. He was so creative how he played. All right, so this is going to be a pretty awesome session. You guys are going to be working hard, and we'll, uh, we'll work it through. Alright, so let's go, get it done. So how do you want to do it? Because we've got so many kids here, we're going to do lines or something with two balls or what do well, we do here? When we go with Has everyone balls. got a ball? Everyone's got a ball everyone's or not? Ball, so we can start working one ball with everyone and then when we go that they'll just get up in pairs and they can do that. We're going to get through things quickly. This is not the normal speed that we'll do this. We're going to do this, um, uh, <laughs> condense it up. We normally you'd spend a lot more time. But also what we do here is that, uh, what we actually do here is stuff that you can work at at home. And stuff when you turn up to the game, you work on it to warm up, to get yourself going. So, all right, so that's... I'll just say something to the boys as well, because I know, like, Scotty took me years ago and his brother, and I don't know if anyone's experienced these guys, but they're pretty, you know, at you and very aggressive coaches. So you've got to be able to suck that up. But I remember years later, after I had all the skills and everything, going up to these guys saying, you know, geez, you guys made me the best basketball I could have been. Thanks very much. I'll never forget him turning around and saying, well, you know, thanks for the accolade, but we didn't make you that basketballer. You made yourself that basketballer. So what I show you is not automatically going to make you better, right? It's up to you guys to take whatever I show you, and then you guys have to do the work to get to that next level. So I'm just going to show you the things that you need to be able to do. Um, like Scott said, you know, the thing that I'm massive on is a lot of kids aren't moving correctly on the basketball court, right? You don't have the right strength in the quads, in the arms, in whatever. So a lot of this stuff we're going to do is going to start building that foundation, all right? So I guess what we'll do is I'll, I'll warm you up how I would usually if I was doing an individual. So I'll stand out here. You guys get a space. And we'll just start. So, yeah, just face me. Just get a space so, so you can move. We're going to do wraparounds and stuff like this. So step out in the court. Okay, so the thing that I want to do here, now everyone can do this, all right? Everyone can just stand there wrapping the ball around and we're all happy at this level, right? So what I want you guys to do is go to another level, all right? I want you wrapping the ball as quick as you can, right? And that's what I expect to be happening, all right? So when you're wrapping it, wrap, 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 let's go, all right? You want to be as quick as this, all right? It's quick, 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 quick. Let's go, you guys keep working. It's all right. Pick it back up. Let's go. Keep working as hard as you can. Look. Wrap, 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 wrap. All right. Keep going, keep going, keep going. All right. Now what we're going to do is around the head. Now around the head doesn't look like this, where the ball's going up and down this moment. It's actually around here. And again, you're trying to get this speed up. All right. Let's go. Round the head, don't move your head, don't move your head. Round, 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 round. This is gonna work this, the core. All right, let's go, hard, hard, hard. As quick as you can. Round, 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 round. Doesn't matter if you drop the ball, let's go. Try not to put your head down. It's gotta be here, look. Get it behind, get it behind, and then speed it up. All right, don't bring it down here. Just pay attention for a sec, right? This movement is here to here. I'm not going like this, and I'm not looking down like this. It's behind the head, it's in front of the face. It's behind the head, in front of the face. Head still. Let's go, wrap. Head still, don't move your head. Keep your head still.
That's it, right across the face. Here. Across here. Look, here, 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 here. See how quick I'm moving it? All right. If you do this right, is you're going to feel it in your core. It's hard. All right, back to the middle of a sec. Feet together. So now what we're going to do, we're going to wrap around here. But again, these wraps, we want them low and as hard as you can. So you want to be wrapping around like this. So you guys do it. I'm going to fatigue out. Let's go. Feet together, head up. Smaller circles, smaller circles. Your circle's too wide. That's good, keep going. All right, so stand up again. So now, you got the idea, now these circles here, we don't want the ball out like this, right? The idea is to be really wrapping the ball as small as you can, all right? So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna reverse the direction. So you guys start, so if you went around this way before, let's go the other way now. Now go as quick as you can. Quick as you can, let's go. Speed, 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 speed. That's all right, if you lose it, pick it up. Fast as you can. All right, again, round the head. Now again, you gotta reach back. Across the face, behind the head, across the face, behind the head. All right, let's go, speed. Try not to move your head, that's good speed. Keep going. Keep the ball across your face. Up here, look, across here. Cross here, don't drop it down there. Keep it up there. Ball's gotta go back, you gotta reach. You gotta reach back, reach back. All right, round your legs, put your feet together. Round your legs, let's go. Get your head up. Small circles, that's good speed. That's the sort of speed we're after. Let's go, you guys are too slow. That's good speed over the back there. Keep your head up though, get your head up. All right, open one leg. Again, this ball, around one leg. All right, as quick as this. All right, let's go. Around one leg. It's good, little circles, little circles. That's way too slow. Okay, change legs, the other leg. We're rapidly going through these just to show you them. Go around the other leg now. So around this leg. And again, little stance, and you're trying to do these little circles. All right, let's go. Little circles, good, 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 good. All right, now we'll do the figure eight. Now the figure eight, we want to go as quick as you can, but see my movement? All right, the body's moving. This is what we need. This is work your core. You go as quick as you can but the body's moving. So you go on this side, this side, this side, this side, as quick as you can, let's go. Figure eight, move the body, as quick as you can. If you lose it, just pick it up. Pick it up, that's good. Make sure that body's moving side to side, side to side, you gotta be moving. So it's here, it's here, it's here, it's here, it's here, it's here. All right? All right, now reverse the direction. So this time we're going to swing it, but this time I'm pulling it back out. All right, round the back, round the back, round the back, round the back. Let's go. From behind now, let's go. That's good. Good movement. All right, stand up. Let's paddle the ball. Now this pattering of the ball, we want it in the fingers. I don't want it in the palms. I want it in the fingers, right? Straight arms. Look how straight the arms are. You want straight arms. Now what I want you to do with straight arms is I want you to start lifting it out. But straight arms. 
All right, everyone can do it like this. We want straight arms. Then bring it up to the top. All right, get it up the top. Keep going, you guys, keep going. Up the top, keep it up here. All right, bring it back down, slow. Real slow back down. All right, back up. Let's go. Keep going. You should start feeling this in the forearms. Get hard. How come everyone stop? <laughs> I've stopped. You guys are supposed to keep going. Let's go. No, no, no. I said, how come you stop? All right, this is a massively important drill, right? Because it's going to, I don't know if you guys can feel, can you feel your forearms? It starts hurting. All right? All in the fingers. Should be able to do this forever. And then bring it back down, down here. All right. So let's now, we want two balls in each group. So you have to team up with someone. Just get a partner. All right, you got your partners. So that warm-up drill, what you guys should do before you do anything, if you're going to do something, that's a great warm-up drill at home. Build your shoulders, build your forearms, and that's just a warm-up. But you want to be going as hard as you can. So now who's your partner? Put two balls in the one player's hand and stand behind that partner and the partner step forward. So line across there, one in front, one behind. So if that's your partner, get behind your partner. Can you get me another ball? Where's my other? Oh, I've got one here. All right, so what we're going to do is just on the spot now, I'm just going to show you, you guys are going to do it. So what we want to do is I want these balls down here, low dribble. All right, and look where I am. I'm outside my feet here. All right, low dribble, let's go. Low dribble, it's a pat. All right, this is where you want to be. Low dribble. Now you want to be nice and spread, nice and balanced, okay? Keep going. All right, now bring it up to your knees. Good, strong bounce. Good, strong bounce at your knee height here. All right, good, strong bounce. So your stance is a bit buckled, right? Get out like this. Get down low. Bang, 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 bang. All right, solid, solid, solid. Huh? Yeah, it's got to be outside your feet. Fast. You know, if you're bouncing the ball, you want to be out here. Right? It's like if you're bouncing one hand, you'd be out here. You wouldn't be here. You'd be out to the side of your body, all right? So you get in that basketball stance. Keep dribbling. Let's go. Nice low dribble. Low, 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 low. All right, bring that dribble up to your waist. Stay in that stance. Look, I'm down in my quads. Get that ball up to the waist now. So we've gone from the knees up to the waist. Hard. Pound, 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 pound. Stay in the stance. Stay squatted. All right, you're down here. This is where we play. All right. Stay down. Keep pounding. Let's go quicker, quicker, quicker. Bang, 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 bang. That's better. Right? That's the power. All right, take it up the shoulders. So stay in the stance. Get down here. Right? Get down here. Now I want the balls up here, right? Let them go. Right up to the shoulders. And that's a good pound. Hard bounce, hard bounce, hard bounce. That's perfect. Right? Get them up high. Nice to the shoulders. Yep. Keep going. All right, flip it to your partner. We'll quickly do it. All right, low dribble. Down low here. All right. Down here. See my feet here, look. See how wide I am? I'm not in here. 
Get down like this. Look. I'm down here. Bang, 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 bang. That's perfect. Keep going. Keep going. Get the balls in time. Even lower. Yeah, like this. Get your head up. All right, up to your knees. Up to your knees. Let's go. Not too high, just knee high. Good pound, good pound, good pound. That's good. Good pound, good pound. All right, bring up to your shoulders. Shoulders. All right, stay in this stance here. Look. Stay in this stance. Hard, 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 hard. Go, bounce, 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 bounce. Hard, up to your shoulders, up higher, even higher. All right, flip it over. Now, I don't know whether you want to do it, but we usually do that alternating as well. Yeah, hold it just to quickly do alternating. Okay, so we usually do the same drill, but this time try and alternate the, the dribble, right? So you like this. Let's go. Alternate the dribble. Down low, 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 low. Lower than your knees, really low. Keep it going, keep it going, good. Get them low, real low. Alternate the dribble. If they bounce together, just alternate them again. All right, bring them up to your knees. Alternate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, up to your shoulders. Let's go, bang, bang, bang. You can go as ridiculous as you want. We're trying to control the ball. All right, now stand here like this, and we want to bounce the ball. Now, if you get real good, you'll be able to do it without looking. All right, we bounce, 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 bounce. Let's go. One over, one across, one over, one across, one over, one across. That's it. That's good. Go the other way. All right, switch directions. So now you're going over the other side. Now you want to feel like you're pushing one down. So one push is one push, one push, one push, one push. All right, push it down, push it across. Let's go. So what I usually do with the plays is once you get that, you want to be able to go bounce, 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 one, two, three. Bounce, 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 one, two, three. And get your head up and do it. Let's go. Bounce, 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 one, two, three. All right, swivel it over. Switch it over, you get the idea. All right, alternate dribble low. Alternate it, alternate it. Even lower. All right, up to your knees. All right, up to your shoulders. All right, let's go. Alternate, alternate, alternate. Round, 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 round. All right. Now, if you have to look at it for now, get it, get it, get it. All right. Just get used to this movement to begin with. Right? Just look at the balls. Watch the balls, yep. That's it, good, good, good. Keep going, keep going, let's go. Cross, cross, beautiful. Yep, yep, yep. All right, change direction, the other way. Yeah. All right, now do the three, three, three. So bounce, 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 one, two, three. Let's go. One. Now instead of standing up, stay low. One, two, three, yep. Ding, 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 one, two, three. All right, ball's back. Bring one person, actually, everyone grab the ball now. So we'll go. Yeah, hold that. So now what we're going to do is we're going to have one ball 
and we're going to start on the side. Now, what I want you to do with this ball is below the knee, I want this happening. You'll see as I dribble, the ball is always in my hand. I get back, 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 and we're trying to get that speed, right? And now to do it, this quad is having to burn. So let's go, get some speed up. Right. Now remember, getting this stance here, look. Get this nice and wide. You need some power. It should all be on this quad. Look. Look at the speed. Now to get the speed, you got to dribble lower, 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 lower. Ball's got to be down here, look. As low as I can. Low, low, low. Power, 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 power. Low, low, low. All right, just hold the balls for a sec. I want to stipulate, if I got ready to do this drill, I can't sit here and go like this and think I'm going to be playing, right? I go like this. This is my stance. If I was playing D, this is where I play. So then I lean to the side, and now I'm working it. But look how low I'm dribbling. So I'm literally, I'm not going up here, right, trying to control it, because you can't. Well, you can if you get real good, but the idea is this low. So look at how I'm leaning. Down in this stance, so everyone get their legs open. All right, can you all sit in like this? Lean. Now get on this side, and you should feel that you've got all your weight in this quad. Burn out that quad. Let's go. Get that ball low. That's perfect. Good. Good. All right, now, same stance. Now we're in the front, right? Now look, again, my body is moving like this in little movements, and I'm getting the... I'm getting my hand either side of this ball. All right, hard as you can, hard as you can. Look, have to move, have to move. Let's go. Get that tempo up. Low, 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 low. Look, right in the middle, right in the middle, right in the middle. That's it. Low drill, perfect. Let's go. Power, power. Yep. All right, drop left hand. So same thing, right? I'm moving and I've got this ball. It's like on a yo-yo, mate. As soon as it bounces, back in my hand, back in my hand. Look, I'm just picking up, I can slow down, but you gotta then speed that up. So it's all here, I have to work quite hard moving sideways, let's go. Low. Like I'm getting puffed doing it as a coach. Let's go, work, 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 abs, it's good. Keep it going, nice and low. Get it more in the middle. So the ball's here, look. So you don't want to be here doing it, right? You're in the middle here, in the middle. So you're going from this leg to that leg. Now the key to it, hold the ball. The key to, to make sure you do it right, we don't want to be on the side here doing these little ones, right? The ball goes from this side, inside of this leg to this leg, so it's here, 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 right? This is where I'm, I'm living. I'm not out here going like this, I'm in the middle, and I'm having to move my abs. Abs, 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 let's go. It's all abs, let's go. Look, move that hand, move the hand. It's like a pendulum between the inside, inside, make sure you're doing it, that's good. All right, now on the side, on the side. Right here. Again, get that stance. Let's go, power, 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 power. Strong dribble, lower, lower. Yeah, real low, low's easy. It's all right. Speed it up. All right, all right. So this one's a little bit harder. What we're gonna do now is I'm gonna onside the ball. So I'm coming over the top of it and I'm dragging it back out. So it's like I was doing this move in the game, right? 
but you need to power the ball in circles. So it's coming in here, back out, in here, back out. Look at the body move. All right? That's it. Now make sure, and make sure the ball moves inside of this leg, back out. And you want the ball bouncing in the middle, but it's from the side. So here, I'm there, I'm there, I'm there, I'm there, there, there. Let's go. Let's go. Onside, onside, move it more. Get it right over. Ball should bounce in the middle, that's better. Nah, move that ball to that leg. This ball bounces in the middle. Get it over the top, get it over the top. All right, just real quick, this group here, this line, line up on this line, facing that way. You guys, well, yeah, all line up on the line. Now, the lines here, just to show you on this line, is when I do this dribble, I'm not here going, look, outside this line. Like I'm straddled, I'm here to there. Now I'm trying to bounce the ball on the line. And I'm moving the ball right across. Look how long I can hold it, right? And now we want to speed that up. But I'm taking it over this line to this leg, bouncing on that line, bring it up. So spread out so you've got room. Make sure you can see the ball go over the line, bouncing on the line, back to end. let's go. It's the onside drill, very important, let's go. Get it over the line, make sure you check yourself. Bounce it back on the line. Excellent. Good. All right, once you get the technique, all right, switch hands just so we move on. Switch hands, same technique, get it over the line. Okay, this is the most important dribble in basketball, this onside. You have to be able to do it. Everything's going to come from this dribble, so that's one to practice. Now on the same line, another thing, this, this onside at the moment is where we're dragging it and pulling it back, right, which is my one-on-one -on -one move. But we also need to be able to bounce from here to here, right? So now, move the body, bounce, and I'm pulling it across, hands on top of the ball all the time. All right, let's go. Again, the idea is I'm bouncing on the inside of this leg, pulling it to the inside of this leg, and I'm moving my body, and I'm trying to get that speed. Let's go. Speed, speed, speed. Get your head up now. All right, it's gotta be in here. It's gotta be basketball. Look, if I'm moving, I'm moving. Move, move. I'm having to use my body, I'm having to use my core. Get some speed up, let's go. All right, same thing on the side. This time I'm dribbling back. I'm taking it from here to here, here to here. Look, All right? If that happens, pick it up, do it again. Power, 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 moving the ball. Keep your hand on top of it. Let's go. You're always moving your body. No, no, like this. Right, I'm here, I'm here, here, here. Shoulder ends up here, open, here, here. Look. Beautiful, that's good. All right, keep working, keep working. Look, bounce, drag, bounce, drag, bounce, drag. This is my reverse dribble, right? You gotta be able to do it. Switch hands, switch hands, right? We'll do that first one here, right? Drag, 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 drag. Good. Keep dragging, drag, drag, drag. 
All right, on the side, do it. Do the same thing. From the side, drag it back. On the front, drag back. Think about yourself doing a reverse dribble, but you keep your hand up and you're having to move your body. All right? Let's go. All right, everyone in front. Right, now look at my stance again, and the ball's down here. Right, it's all in my wrist. This is all I'm doing, right, let's go. Got to be in the basketball stance. Wrist, not arms, all wrist. As soon as the ball hits, it's in my other hand. It's all fingers. Let's go, get it up. All right, take it out to your knees now. So now this swipe is coming out here, look. Again, when I'm doing it, I can feel my left side, my ab here, my ab here. As I'm changing, I can feel that ab is pulling. It's the only way you can do this cross is I've got to use that strength. So let's go. Cross in front, out to the knee height. Now, the thing that makes this easier, it's hard if you're bent over like this. You've got to be here. This is how you move. You've got to be in your quads. Make sure it's knee height only. Knee height only. Perfect. Beautiful. Whoop. All right, now take that same dribble, but now, and it doesn't have to be quick, but now we're catching it. It's a hard dribble down, and I'm catching it really high. Let's go. So it's catching out here, hard down, catch it up high on the other side. Doesn't matter how long the ball pauses in the air, it's a hard snap dribble. Yeah, we can do oh, the warm up thing, yeah. Okay. Alright. And the last one I like to do with the players is where it's high and it's a snap low. Right? So I'm here and I'm trying to catch it there and I'm pushing it back, right? I'm trying to catch it at the knee, and I push it back and I hold it out. Let's go. Yep, boom, boom. Boom, boom. That's beautiful, yep. Got to get control of this ball, wherever it is. Yeah, it's here, snap, 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 snap. So it's here, I'm catching it, and this pause is okay, but I'm doing this. Right, and then do the other side. So do the other hand now. Take it wide, snap, snap. You gotta be able to cross the ball pretty quick. That's good, good. Get it up, pause, hard, hard. All right, I got you. All right, stand up. Can anyone do this? All right, let's try. So what we're doing is we're rolling the ball around our hand, but we're building up the speed so it's in our fingers. All right, got to be able to control the ball. So let's practice. Keep doing it. All right, if you want to slow it down, the idea is to be able to control it as long as I want to, right? And if I want to get up to speed, you know, if I want to speed it back up, I get back under my fingers, right? You know, this is really, this is good to have this skill. All right, try the other hand. All right, let's go. So anything you do with the ball, if I'm sitting there talking, I'm always doing something with the ball, whether I'm rolling around my hands, whatever you're doing, you want the ball in your hands so it just becomes part of your body. The more of these things, can everyone spin on their finger? All right, here's a real shot, ready? We'll see if I can do this. I used to be able to. You want to be able to get this ball to stop. Ugh. 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 
right, and that ball stops. All right, who can do that? Let's go, work it. You gotta hold it out. Not easy. Anyway, they're a bit of fun and games, but that's that ball handling, you guys should feel that in the abs, should feel it in the arms. And that's the intensity you've got to work these drills at. So I'll show you before every game a routine I used to do as well. This is more ball handling. Everyone get on the ground and dribble the ball on the side. Again, it's in the fingers. I usually start warming up before a game. It's a good little drill. Now the idea of this again is I'm in my fingers, I'm not sort of on the tip of them, right, I'm down here on my fingers. Now what I want to do is push to my feet and pull it back to my hip. Push to my feet, pull it back and then move it quick, right, so you've got to be able to move the ball as quick as you want, right, just keep that ball moving. Now I'm going to whip through them because otherwise I'm going to fatigue, I don't do these anymore. So now we're going out to the side and in. Now again, see how... I just don't practice these anymore, so I'm going to fatigue. No, I should start doing them. All right, now circles in one direction. Again, all tapping, 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 circles. You want those circles to be as quick as you want to move your hand, like the quicker the better. All right, reverse the angle of the circles, or reverse the direction, I should say. If the ball, I'm starting to fatigue. All right, let's go to the other hand. Should feel good actually, now I'm relieved. All right, again, to the toes, back to the hip, to the toes. Remember, I'm pushing and I'm pulling. I'm pushing, I'm pulling it back. I've got a glitch. Push, pull, push, pull, push, pull. All right, out to the side. All right, do the circles. I'm running through these quick. You do 10 at a time, circles. All right, change the direction of your circle. I'm getting better. All right, in the middle. All right, again, keep those legs spread now because we're going to move the ball, right? So now I'm going to move it forward and I'm going to move it back, forward, back, forward, back. Now look how quick my ball's moving in and out. This is what you want. All right, you got to be able to do it quite quick and you'll get better and better and better. Keep going. All right, side to side. All right, I'm going to say I'm not that flexible, but... All right, the same circles. All right. One direction, circle the other direction. If the ball stops, just fire it up again. All right, change hands. Mate, I'm supposed to be the coach, I'm sweating it out. Woo. All right, forward, back. Forward, back. <laughs> I should practice these myself. Ah, it's good, man, it's good. All right, side to side. This is just a good drill, man. It gets your forearms going again. I used to always do this. Circles. Do the circles. All right, change the direction of your circle. We're coming to the end. All right, so this one now, I want you to scissor your legs up and down and the ball's flipping through the legs. Let's go and do as many as you can. Look how they control the ball, right? I'm not coming out here and bouncing up here. I'm on top of the ball, on top of the ball, scissor, and push it through the legs. This is all abs. All right, let's see, who can do it? Got to get you out, you know, on a V shape so your legs are light. Scissor, up and down. All right, up you get. Does anyone do it? Yep, finish. 
All right, there's millions of drills to do. These are a good one. That's a good one to practice every day. Now, do you want to do the two ball stuff or what do you want to do? Let's do a bit of two ball stuff, yep. All right, so get your partners two balls in the front, line up along this line. I'll just use that for a sec. Line up. Two balls at the front of the line. Now what we're going to do, this is going to be a quad workout, but it's also still working your dribbling. So what we're going to do, watch how I move here. I'm down here. Now I'm moving, crouched, with the ball low as this. And it's this slow. And we're going to walk up to the center line. Now everything is a tap, 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 tap. I'm not bouncing like this. It's a tap, 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 tap. Let's go. Get down. Squat down. Lower. Power, it's a tap dribble. Tap, 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 tap. Tap, 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 tap. Strong hands. Make sure it's in the finger. Don't bounce it. Tap it. Tap it. You're dribbling. Tap. That's good. Yep, yeah, come back. Let's go. Stay down. It's down here. It doesn't have to be quick, but look. Look where my balls are. Look, down here. You're dribbling. Tap. Tap the ball. All right, switch it over to the other player. Hey, just note, I'm not dribbling the ball. I'm not going like this at this stage, right? I'm literally going tap. It's like when we were doing the little dribble before. Tap it. Tap dribble. Tap, 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 real low. Get the ball down, let's walk it up. Tap. That's good, keep them going. That's excellent, that's what we're talking about, tap. Beautiful, beautiful. Yep, slow down, slow down, don't be so quick. Get them back up, keep going. Keep working it, low, 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 low. Tap, 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 tap. And bring it back, low dribble. Keep working, to keep going. All right, so now what we're gonna do, we're gonna do that same dribble down here. So I'm down low. Again, I'm not sort of dribbling like this. I'm trying to keep the balls down here. I'm going wide and I'm bringing them to the front. I go wide, look how I have to step, carry my weight wide, back to the middle. Wide, back to the middle, let's go. Hold on, hold on. Just, just on this, right, the trick is, Hold it. Hold the balls. Alright. The trick is to be able to get down and tap. What does that mean? What's hurting the most in you guys? Your forearms clean. And quads. This is about, alright, yeah, your legs and all that. But this is all about pulling up strength. This is really important for basketball. It has strength in these forearms. Yeah. It's like for shooting, for ball handling, for catching, for passing. Alright, all all right. you can see a lot of you guys are struggling to tap it. You're trying to dribble it. Yep. Which I'm letting go, but, you know, the idea is to try and tap. Get them as low as you can, tap out. And the technique is this slow, I've got to carry my body weight on that quad, and then I step it forward, I'm carrying my body weight in the quad, and I step it forward. All right, don't try and bend over like this. Get the leg so you're creeping, and you're creeping like this, it's all quad. So this is working forearms and quad, let's go. You gotta be able to carry your body weight in your quads. Nice and slow, that's good. Out, and back to the middle. Touch those balls in the middle almost. That's it. Yep. Good. Out to the side. Get them out and back in. Make sure those balls are touching in the middle. You're doing a pretty good job. Bring them back together. You're only coming to here. Bring them all the way back. Let's go. Get down. Out to the side. Out to the side. Into the middle. This is the perfect example. See this? This is good. Make sure you bring them together though. All right, next group. Have you both gone? No? All right, let's go. Bring it back. Keep going. Out to the side and in. Get those balls tapping. It looks torturous to me. Come on, guys. You got this. <laughs> Keep those balls going. Don't matter if they stop. Just pick them back up. 
Good, get him out to the side, get him to the front. Nice and wide, nice and wide, as wide as you can. Yep, take him back. No, he just starts going back. Let's go, get down. Make sure those hands are going really wide out here. You'll see my hands got to go to the side of the ball to pull it back. Side of the ball, pull it back. Huh? Where they do it backwards and forwards. Just keep moving. I can do whatever you want. Yeah. I mean, do you want to do them next or something? I don't know. Whatever you need. There's heaps more dribbling that we can do. All right, last one you're going to try. Because um, we do all these drills and then we alternate the dribble. So right now you're together. Then you want to do it alternating. So obviously you're struggling when it's together. But eventually we want to alternate those. The last one is where we dribble. Now watch my hands on that dribble to the side. I've got to move my hands around the ball. See how I come here? And then I bring the ball. My hands are moving like this. So I can go out here, I bring it back. All right, that's how you do it. Now when I do this drill... Right, I step to the ball that I'm about to take backwards. So this is the dribble, and I bring it back, and you'll see my hands, and I'm walking up like this. All right, backwards, forwards. But the key is I step to the side that the ball goes back. Let's try that. It's the same tap dribble. Get down low. Yeah, you step, and that's the ball that's gone back. So that ball should be going back as you step. Right. So I'm going like this, I step it, back, I step back, 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 right? Yeah, that's the idea, man, make you better. Keep going, keep going, keep trying. Step, take it back, bring it forward, take it back, good. But it's, everyone's got different strengths. You might be strong already. So it might be your quad's not good enough. But as long as you're doing the drill, it's fine. Like, I'm not feeling it as much as maybe these kids are. I don't know. But as long as you're doing the technique, that's fine. All right, get the balls back so we can move on. You guys bring it up one time. Let's go. Try it. Take that ball back, the blue one. Make sure it's going back behind you. Well, the side you're stepping on is the side that goes back. If you step, you take it back. Take that ball back. So look, as I step here, I let that ball go back. And then I step this side, then I step to the side, right? So the side you're stepping, the ball goes back. Then step, that's it. Now get the ball lower. Let's go. You got a nice real low dribble on the verge. Keep going. It's a pretty good effort. If you practice, you'll get that. You gotta take that ball back, man. Come on. Yeah. We're getting to the other stuff. Do you wanna go straight to um Um, do you want to go straight to the these or you want to do crossover work or straight to them? Yeah. All right. All right. Come in, guys. Come in. Just, just, I don't know about you guys now. I don't do those drills anymore, right? I'm, you know, 47. I haven't practiced basketball for a long time. But I've still got the foundation in there. So a bit of practice, you'll become lightning at that, right? You've got to spend the time. Now, just doing that for me, that ball feels small as now. Like, I can feel this ball now. It just feels so small because I've had it in the hand so long, all right? You've got to spend time with it. But we're going to move on to some ball handling now. So we're going to line these up and maybe... Yeah, all right. Now, this is going to be interesting. You want to grab two and I'll... Yeah, you're only going to need... What did we do? We said two... I generally want to space out, thanks man. About two steps I reckon. 
somewhere around here. Yeah, that'll be good. All right. Now, one thing that all the basketballs I'm seeing coming up as juniors, they can't carry their body weight in their quads. All right. Now, what we're focusing on is we're going to do some crossover moves. Now, we're going to start with the onside dribble that I spoke about. Now, what I want to see, we'll see if you guys can do it, is when I attack this first cone, I want to step here, and you'll see my body's just twisted, and I'm bringing an onside dribble to then twist this side. So I've got a here to here movement. All right, so as I go here, I'm there, and I'm pushing, but you'll see, look how long this step is. Now, all my body weight is in this quad, ready to explode or pull myself back up. Now, the technique, maybe we'll do it without a ball first, right? is to walk up to this, pretend you're dribbling, step here, pull it out, and twist this leg. Now, what I do when I play is if I can catch this dribbler here and get behind to push him backwards, that's my move. All right, that's going to get your shoulder down. So when you go past someone that's here, I'm there, I'm trying to push, I'm here, I'm here, I'm there. Now look how low I'm getting through these. All right? Now we'll try one guy, I'll try you. Say something, normally when, normally when you do a crossover, like in this, this is the difference, right? Normally you want to go past someone, we go past someone like that. What Shane's talking about is now going past someone like that, and then around. Too much more distance to get past somebody. Right, so if you take the inside foot through and pass the player there, right, that's okay, but we're talking about going that way, and then pass the player. I'll just try and train him through it, right? It's going to be a bit interesting. So it's just start like this. It's a step to the side and then a push and a pull through. Just try that for a second. There and then step. Now see your step? Now the first step, my thinking is I'm about to dribble that way. If I'm about to dribble that way, I go to head that way. I'm all power in this quad now. That's why you've got to have this strength, right? And then I'm pulling it out, but I've got to twist because I'm coming down to get their leg. If I go past you, D me up. If I can go like this and get here, this is where I'm trying to get to, all right? And that gets your body down, protects the ball. So try it again. Step, lunge, all right? The lunge is this leg, here, all right? Just do that step. Just a step? Yeah, so just go onside, massive step. That's it, see that? Right, that's good, come back. Then you need a recover step, right? So I've gone like this, I go, I'm going to blow by my man, I get here and I go, nah, I'm pulling out. One, two, step, boom. One, two, step, boom. One, two, step, boom. And we're going to try without a ball because it's hard enough. All right, I'll look at you here. Step, step, one, two. What are you noticing with Shane compared to what do you guys normally do? So when you do this, we want to get nice and low, nice long step. So slow step here, just go slow, step, lunge, yep, yeah, lunge, bring that next leg through, recover, step, lunge, recover, step, step, lunge, recover, step, step, lunge. Now your recover step, he's doing it good now, we'll do this because I don't think they're going to be capable with the ball. So what we'll do is we'll line up some there, you watch them on that side, I'll watch this side. Now, with the recover step, what we want to do, we're going past the player, I'm here, I don't stay out here with my recover step. Right, my recover step is to take me back here, to then be here, here, recover step. Here, here, recover step. My recover step steps back in the middle. Alright, because that's going around the player. Alright, so you guys line up, we'll try and see if you guys can do it, I'll try and correct you as you go. So you know what you're doing. Let's walk it through. Step, make sure you get low. I want to say, we'll try you. Can I just say, if you don't step long enough, this is what it'll look like. You'll go here and you'll step to here and your body's up here. If I step here, what happens to me? If I really lunge, I can't stay up, I've got to go like this. Right, so this step needs to be long. Here, long step just takes me down. All right, let's get that long lunge. Let's go. Step.
Step sideways. Long lunge. Down. Yep, recover step. Step, long lunge. Recover step. Onside. All right, let's try. Step, long lunge. That's it. Recover step, long lunge. Yep. Step, long lunge. Recover step. Step. Now, pretend you got the ball. So you're doing that with the ball. And then you go into the lunge. And you recover. And then you're long step. So you pretend you're going. Step, long lunge. Your lunge is going to be long. Get down. Yep, recover. We're going to try. We'll get the footwork first. Hey? Yep. If you've gone one way, try the other foot. So again, step, lunge, recover step. Lunge, recover step. Step, lunge, recover step. Show me the onside, yeah. So you're here, it's onside, it's lunge. It's back here, it's onside, lunge. Right, onside dribble, lunge. You gotta step it. <laughs> now, with this hand, with this hand, tap, tap the back of this thing. Right, go. Tap the back of it. Tap the back of it. That's it. Get down. All right, stop. We'll try with the ball. Now, I can do this slow, and we're only going to do it slow. So what I'm doing, footwork is everything. If you don't have the right footwork, you can't dribble the ball, right? So you've got to watch the footwork. So I'm coming up here. I'm lunging there, and I'm pulling here. And then I recover. And I do a skip. Now the recover is a skip, so I go here, I'm there, I'm here, and then I skip, and I'm here, and I'm here, and I skip. When I'm ready, I'm coming here. Now you're moving the ball again to the inside of this leg. My hand goes like this, and I'm pulling it out. As I pull, you'll see this step, right? This is where you're putting your hand down to then come up. Then I skip, and I step, boom, and I recover like that. See how I go like this? That's how you get that step, so it's a little skip. Let's just see how we look with the ball. Onside, get down. Onside. Now your onside dribble, right, that's not too bad. When you do the onside dribble, it's not here and bounce there. It, the ball's got to go this way. It's got to go forward. Onside. Yep, step. Onside. When you've gone through once, right. Yeah, just hold up. I'll just show you again. So keep going. Oh, yeah, go back. Now, when we, when we do the onside, when I go here, the ball doesn't go to the side of me here. Right? We're pushing the ball. Like if I was going to run out in the open court or go to this hoop, my dribble has to be here to explode to chase down that ball, right? So the ball's heading this way. So on this onside, Make sure you're in here and you're pulling it this side and you're chasing it onto this quad. Recover here, here, boom. Here, 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 boom. Right, ball's moving this way. Let's try it. Onside, move the ball forward. That's it. Try not to carry it. It's just an onside dribble. That onside. That's it. Get down low. So your ball's hung up on your hip. Right, that ball's got to push past the player. It's got to move this way as I lunge. All right, that's better. All right, I'll try one time to show you what this drill should look like. All right, I'm going to give it a bit of effort, see if I can still do it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go explode and then I'm going to pull up and I'm going to explode and I'm going to pull up and I'm going to explode and pull up. The ball's going out. It doesn't matter how slow I am between the things. It's the move that matters. So I come up here and I go, and I'm here, and I'm here, and I'm here, and I'm here. And I'm here. You see that effort? 
It's an explode. It's a stop. It's an explode. It's a stop. All right? Just think you're doing an onside. It's an onside dribble. All right? Let's go. Get past the dude. Hard explode. Ha! Is that going to be someone in the game? You've got to explode past it, man. Get past someone. That's better. That's better. Lunge. Power. That's it. Power step. Get past the dude. Pass. Pass. So with your dribble, that next dribble, right? You're doing this at the moment. You're here, and you're dribbling and leaving the ball here. This ball, as I step, watch where it goes. I'm here, it's following my step, and the ball ends up up here. That's the difference, right? Try and do that next time. All right, try left hand. Same thing, you're reversing the feet. Onside dribble. This is what I'm saying, this onside dribble is everything. You've got to be able to dribble the ball on onside. Now yours is pretty good, right? But you're dropping your leg back. So you're losing ground. So when you do your onside, at the moment you're letting that foot drop back and your step's not long anymore. Yeah. So do this, step, and then lunge. Don't drop it back and then lunge, because then you go past them. Step, you're stopping on the first step. Yeah. Everyone done it? All right, now we're going to try a crossover. So now we're going to lunge here onside and we're going to cross back this side. All right? This is all hard because you guys haven't done it, but same thing. I'm looking like I'm going this side. I'm bringing it out here. I'm stopping and I'm crossing it back. And then I'm recovering. And then I'm onside this side. I'm crossing and I'm back this side. So it's an onside, onside dribble, cross. All right? Onside, onside, cross. Boom. But that, hey, come back. Don't cross your feet. Ready? Got to give yourself a bit more room. Onside, here, and then it's here. Now I'm stepping the other foot. Give yourself some room. Your first step should be here. Onside, cross, throw this leg through. Wait, my left one or my right one? The one I just tapped. Onside, step, cross, this leg has to get past. And then reverse it. Onside cross, yep. Oh, you guys are tangling your feet. Now you're tangling your feet. Right, you're picking up the wrong one. When I go here, I'm there, I'm here, I'm them doing that stretch. Right, you're doing this at the moment. You're here, you're here, and then you're trying to move this leg. We're always trying to stretch past. So I step, I step, and I step. All lunging forward. Step, step, step. But that foot's got to go past the dude. That's it. See how you got that big step? That's how you do it. All right. Well, you're seeing that everything I'm going to do is out of this onside. If you can't do the onside, we're in trouble. But the idea is to come up here, it's onside there, and then I'm cross here. When I'm here, it's onside and I'm here. Right? I'm there and I'm crossing here. I'm onside and I'm crossing here. Now, the foot, right? As I step, I'm lunging forward and I'm lunging forward again. I'm lunging, I'm lunging, I'm lunging. Right? I'm not sort of coming here and then stopping and trying to move this leg. Everything's a step, step, pass. Now all those moves, which we could do all of them, see I can come in here, do this on side and then blow by through my legs, right? You're here, here, boom, and I'm through my legs. I can go behind the back, I can do all sorts of things, but you've got to get this on side. So, I don't know if you want to keep doing it because they're struggling a bit with the... Yeah, yeah, so, so, so the good thing about it is I've got this on tape, so if you can just demonstrate a few, go, go actually, I don't profess to be good at this anymore. <laughs> I haven't done these for a long time. But if I was going to do... Yeah. How old are you? 
47. He's 47. He's plays one three. He doesn't practice this stuff. Right. Yeah, I don't do it anymore. He's not in his prime. All right. So his prime was, was, was 20 years ago. It's not beyond me to come back though. No, so I don't even know what to do here, but I'll, I'll show you something simple, actually, before we go on side. A, a good move is to get used to this step, right, these crossovers. Again, to, to try and get that split leg, I'm to the side, I split leg. That's probably an easier one for you guys to try. So let, let's do that. We'll just do one time. So it's splitting my leg into the lunge. So I come here and I lunge, right, on the side, lunge. But look how low I want to get this arm. Lunge and go through. So let's try that. You guys should be able to do that. Let's just do that. Lunge past like you're going to beat them. Yep. Step past. You've got to be able to beat the man. Boom. Yeah, always. It's just, it gets you down to protect. Yep. Lunge pass. Big long step again. Lunge. Yep. So it's like this. Step. Yep. Yeah, so watch watch how I go. If I'm here, I step and then I lunge. So it's like a little hop, right? I'm ready, I'm up, I'm step and lunge. That's good. Now the thing that's going to improve you is to tap here on the player. You're leaving your hand up here, get it down. That's going to pull your shoulder down, right? It's going to pull you down here. Yeah, you look pretty good though. Yeah, come and dribble on me, you're going to go through your legs. How would you do it? You've got to beat me. If you were going to beat me. Yeah, see, if I was going to beat you, D me up. If I was going to beat you, I'd be here. I'm a hop. Boom. Did you see how I hopped? I come here and I go step. I'm ready to go this side. Now, if I want to cross it back, I can. But you've got to get that little hop into your move. All right. So if we go behind our back now. Now, one thing I notice, right, is when I go to beat someone, it's a one-two, right? So if I'm dribbling up to Scotty, I don't just sort of go like this and then go, oh, I'm going through my legs. That doesn't do anything. I've got to lunge at Scotty. So I've got to come up to him and my footwork has to be, ah! So I go one, two. This is how I get down. Right. So now we go behind our back. This time I'm going one, two this way. And I'm here and I'm one, two this way. Right? Let's go behind our back. So I'm lunging past the dude again. I'm not sure what I'd do. If I was here, I'd be there. So it's down below. Yeah. Lunge past the dude. Oh, just with you, give me that ball. Watch my lunge, right? I'm here, I'm there, I'm here, I'm stepping past the dude. All right, make that lunge past the dude. Step past, but don't, hey, see how you opened up? You let yourself go like this, and you're on this angle. The idea is to, again, I'm coming down here to get this. Yeah. So look, if I was trying to work myself out, I'll try one time, right? I'll be like this, onside cross, you know, cross here, cross here, cross here. All right, it's all power push, power push. And we're trying to change our tempo because the way you beat someone is by change of speed. So that's why we're lunging as hard as we can and we're instantly pulling up. Because if you guard me real quick, if I just dribble like this, 
So just pretend you go, we're going slow. If I'm just like this and I go, and he's all over me, and I'm here, and I go, oh crap, I've, I'm like, I can't do anything, right? If I just play like this and go, ah, right? That makes him go, whoa, what's happening now? I've got space. I've got time to recover. That's what we've got to get good at. You can see there's a long way to go on that, but what do you want to do now? Alright. I'm going to practice that next time you see me do these. I'll be back. Alright, balls down. This is going to be good fun. Alright. Everyone spread out in front of me up here. So face me, get some space, because we're going to slide and stuff. So make sure you've got a couple of lines. Now defense again. Yeah, come down a bit. So what we're going to do is first just see what everyone's stance looks like. So drop into your defensive stance. Let's have a look. Okay, now at the moment we've got some legs too close together. We've got people too upright, all right? A stance looks like this. If I was going to D up, I'm down there, all right? Now look how wide I'm trying to make these legs, right? The wider base, it's hard for people to get around me. The bigger guys, mate, you become a weapon if you get that distance. You've got to make it hard. So let's get down here, all right? Now look where my feet are. They're out. Get them out. All right, get down in the squat. So you're down here. Now my back is not over like this. I'm trying to stay back, so I'm into my ass. Get in your stance. Hands up. All right, come out of your stance. Now, my feet feel wider than my shoulders. I'm not sure if they are, but... Yeah, they're wider than your shoulders. Right, so they're wider than my shoulders. So that's what... That yeah, I've been working on the shoulders too, so... Um, but anyway, what we're going to do is... Let's take, um, you know, say the, this line and send them at the back because we need room to slide. So just, yeah. So maybe lines are three. Just wherever you want it, just so we can slide because we're going to go sideways. Now what we're going to do, the first thing we're going to do is burn our quads with a crab walk. All right, I don't know if you guys have done it. I want to show you the technique of defense though. All right, when I get into my stance, I'm down here. If I'm going to go this side, I point this foot to this angle. Now, it doesn't have to be right to the side, but it's on that angle. This foot stays solid, and I'm pushing and I'm pulling, right? But I'm going to crab walk like this, and I want these little steps. So I'm not doing anything other than that, right? Look, step, push, step, push. I'm pushing from this way, right? That's what we're going to try. So everyone get in their stance, all right? Now, if I'm going on this side, angle the foot, and then bring this foot back. Angle, push, and let's crab walk this way. Let's go this side. Foot, yep. So you're stepping, you're stepping, you're stepping, right? I'm stepping. It's efficiency footwork. I can't see angled feet. Stay here for a sec. All right? I'm seeing a lot of guys, because you've probably been trained this way, that you just slide like this. See my feet? All right, this is no good. This is what I'm trying to get. See, if I'm playing you, I don't play D like this and go like this, because now I, I can't really, I'm not agile enough. What I've got to be is I'm down. If he's going this way, I'm dropping. This foot is now facing, and I'm pushing, pushing, pulling, pulling myself. But look at the angles. The foot points to the way we're moving. Concentrate on this. And do the crab. Ready? Get down. Now watch. We're pushing and we're stepping. I'll just turn my foot. Right? Step. Point this foot. That's it. All the way. Yeah. You step. That's it. That's better. Point the foot this side. Yep, yeah, that's good. And little crabs. Look. Little. Watch. All right, we don't want big. Wide to wider, 
but not wide, narrow to really wide, wide across the end. And that, as you're faking that for pretty, change direction and beat yeah. So this, what I'm doing right now is just technique. This is not necessarily how we're going to move. What it does is it teaches you the correct footwork and we're going to burn the quad. So let's burn these quads and move like I'm moving. Ready? Stance. Little step. Little step. Little step. Look. I'm barely bringing my legs anywhere. It's all feet. 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 Keep burning. Stay down. Point your foot this side. Look. One side is power, one side's making me move. Right, I'm going this side. Right, stop, plant this foot. Little step, crab, crab. Look where my hands are. Look how I move. My body's moving like this. Right, crab. Don't bring your feet together. Big, look, little, little. We're over exaggerating. Is it burning? Yes. All right, back to the middle. All right, you guys got that? So now what we're going to do is we're going to move a bit quicker now. So I'm going to go stance. Now when I move quick, not much changes. All right? Not much changes at all. So if I'm trying to move real quick, I'm down here. When I move, I'm like this. Look, that's how I move. My feet never come in here because now I'm crossed over, I'm done. I've got to be able to change direction at any time. The way you do that, it's quick feet. So now we're going to move quick, but we're not bringing our legs together. It's here, power's coming from this side if I go that side. And I'm push, 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 push. That's how we're going to do it. Get in this stance. Down low. Let's go, get down here. You're too high up the back there, ready? Let's go. Push, 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 push. Back this side. Stay low. Don't bring your feet together. Feet are coming together. Back this side. All right, stop. Now, I'm saying people feel like they've got to do this, right? See this? This is no good. As soon as I'm crossed, I've got my foot like this. That's the end of my defense, right? The guy's got me crossed. I'm done. You can't do that. You've got to stay wide. So if anything, it's an exaggeration. We're exaggerating everything. I'm going to stay wide, and I'm going to stay as wide as I can. Look, I don't even have to move quick. This is how I'm moving, right? I'm pushing, I'm dragging, I'm dragging, I'm dragging, I'm dragging. But look how wide my feet, my feet are not coming together. Let's do it one more time, ready? Stance. Over-exaggerate your width. This way. This way. Back to the middle. All right, stop. Now we'll do a drop step. So stance, I'm going to point back. You're going to drop step, but again, you're pointing and then you're pushing back. Right, if you come forward, it's the reverse. Stance. Drop step. Pull forward. That's better. Left. Right. Drop step. Pull forward. Stance. Stay down, man. Everyone's coming out of their stance. All right, come up. I mean, if I, do you want to move through it or? Because the other thing we would do here, if I was working you out, is we'd be like this, then we'd pitter patter. Right? But look, you've got to be pitter pattering out here. Then I go, move, move, move. Back, back, back. We're pitter patter. All right, let's go. Ready? Stance. Pitter patter. Listen to the intensity. Left. Back. Pitter patter. Stay low. That way. Back to the middle. Pitter patter. Drop step. Stay low. Come back. Pitter patter. Drop step this way. Stay nice and low. Come back. Pitter patter. Let's go. Get down. Low, 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 low. These guys are quitting. What's happening? All right, we're burnt out. Stand up. So you can see you guys have zero stamina in these things. That makes it hard to play this game. So if I give you any words of advice, a good thing for you guys to do, which I've been telling a couple of guys I'm training, is at home, look to lunge this side and stand back up. I'm dribbling.
get this into your movement and maybe do some of these lunges to try and build some of this quad work. What else do you want to do? All right, let's talk about, let's if we go back behind there, behind there, let's get somebody out here and talk about defending someone and how you can uh, get in control, how to control someone on defense. I got this guy covered. Okay. I think we'll go from the side. It gives me a chance. This young guy reckons he's got me. <laughs> so first thing is. I need him to catch the ball and get on a pivot foot. So watch your pivot foot. Okay. Now, my, this is only my way I always play, right? Wherever this ball is, so if you're on your triple threat, how do you play? So you're, he's down there, right? Now, if I as a defender play from here, I'm in trouble, in my opinion. Because right now, he can take me this way, he can cross me this way, he might jab at me. He's got three chances to score and I don't know which one he's going to use. Now the way I play is if he gets that ball in his hip, I've got to, as quick as I can, come up here. Right? Now this foot's planted, so I know I'm not going to have to do this. Right? Now if you try and go this way, I'm here. Right? I know he's not coming this way. So, now I actually are dictating to this guy where he's going to go. So I'm here, now I'm ready to carry his body weight. Now, as he takes a dribble, I'm stepping, I'm already in the slide motion. Again, because my feet, I'll just show that bad footwork. If I do what some of you guys were doing before and we slide and I go like this and my feet come here, and let's say you come this side, now I'm just halfway through this move, I've got to try and come out and I'm beat. If I keep my stance wide and I'm up here and I know, now my first, see I'm here, I know that his first step's not going to be bigger than my first step. So as he goes to power dribble, I'm here, right? I'm shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Now, if he fights me for it, so let's say I'm playing offense, you do what I just did. So I'm here about to play, right? So you've got to get closer, man. Right, now I'm in trouble, right? So let's say I'm trying to get him off, and I switch, and I come here. But look, what am I going to do? I've got nothing, so I've got to come back here. So your idea is not to lunge at me like this. Get your body up to me. Now I'm in trouble, right? You're not leading on me, you're in balance. So when I dribble, he's already got me covered. So the key about defense is we don't want this guy controlling me. So the quicker I can get up here and play, and I'm down there, I'm not going like this, right? I'm actually totally in balance, but I'm ready to catch his body weight. So as he dribbles, I'm catching, catching, now dribble the other way. See, if he comes here, I'm back. Now you'll see, I'm trying to keep this body, and I'm trying to keep this arm with some power. Where's Shane's? Down here. All right, this far below. All right, that's why it's such important. The lowest center of gravity means you've got, now you've got leverage against him. Yeah. So, so the first thing is to know that, you know, even if he manages to swing the ball from side to side, I would be here now. Sweep it the other side. I'd be here now. See how quick I'm changing? Move it again. I'll be like that. I'm ready to play. I'm ready to play. I'm doing these little moves. So it doesn't matter which way he's going, I'm making it happen, all right? That's a big part of how you play defense. The rest of the sliding... Well, we'll try it. Let's go one-on-one, -on -one. ready? Let's play. Oh! <laughs> But anyway, that, so the idea is we want to know where the defender's going. Now, if I play on you and I'm playing one-on-one -on -one, and I'm trying to play like this, now this is, I mean, one, I'm trying to fix D. Two, on offense, I don't want him to be a good defender. So what I just did was gain control again. So come up on me. Now, when I went like this and I stepped to there and I pulled back, what did I do? And what did I say when there's space? You're in trouble. James Harden, right? 
he's playing like this to get the space, step back, he's got a three. So the idea on D is if he's doing those steps, and I'm here and you step and I have to come back here, as he comes back I'm trying to mimic his movement. So as he steps like this and comes back here, do it slow, I'm here, you step and I've gone like that, but as you come back, I come back. You see that? If I stay, you take that step and I'm here, I go, oh shit, I'm done. Bleep that. Yeah. So what you're going to see, like I'm coaching now, and I'm huffing and puffing, right? Now basketball is 90% effort. Now there's dudes that can play and they swing balls like this and they'll hit shots and you go, wow, these guys are unbelievable. But to play good D, you've got to decide that you're going to be a lockdown defender. Now I said to one of the guys we're coaching, how many guys out there are trying to be the next James Harden, right? Trying to be the scorer. I'll tell you what's going to put you on a team, is if you can be a lockdown defender, that they know they can put you in a game and you're just going to shut the dude down, you're going to get a game. So how many people out there are practicing to be that next lockdown defender? Right? There's a million dudes. Yeah, well, that's good. But this is what we want. Now, to be that lockdown defender, you see how much effort I've got to put in. I can never be lazy and go, oh, you got me, and now I go like this and I'm going, trying to play. This is not defense. I've got to try and close the gap. Now, if I am in a situation in a game where, here, give me the ball. The ball swung and I'm running at this guy. I've got to come in here, stand. Now, I've got to try and close this gap as quick as I can. Now, you're not always going to be able to, right? But I've got to try and get there. If I can get here and he hasn't made a move, I'm back in control, all right? It's a battle of being in control. And like I said, we're trying to stay with this guy. So if he takes a dribble here and you take a dribble back, I don't want to stay back here and go, oh, okay, I'm sweet to get back into my D. Right? As he takes that dribble, I'm down here, he comes back. Now I'm trying, and this is where this stance is everything. Because I've got to be able to go like this, these little movements, which are out here. Now, I'll show you another thing. Now, have you ever seen this move? Now what I want you to do is bad D. So I'm going to do my first step. I want you to drop step. So play on my hip. And let's just say for some reason I get this first step. So you're going to do this. Now, as I go like this, a bad defender sometimes will do this. I'll show you what I'm trying to get you to do. If I'm up here and he takes the first step, a lot of bad defenders do that. See this step? Because I haven't slid. Now, I'll get you to do this in a minute. But if I go like this and you go, and I go like this to try and change, now I'm burnt. Now you do it and I'll show you. And you'll see NBA guys do this all the time. If I can go hard enough, and you're going to lift this foot this time. And I go here, and I pull this move. You see this in the NBA? Yeah. Now, you can get guys to do that. The way you get it is the guys close me, I go like this, and then I'm pulling back. So I'm watching this guy's footwork. Now, if this guy makes a mistake, I already are watching for that, all right? And it happens to me at 47. I still play every now and then. If I do a power drill hard enough, that guy lifts that foot, my instant reaction is it's a back and you've got an instant shot. All right, so this is what I'm trying to say. People with bad footwork, when you're on offense, you're trying to control this guy. When I'm on D, I'm trying to say, no, you're not going to control me. I'm going to control you. So this is the battle. But again, I'll do the bad footwork. Right, I'm here and I go like that. He pulls the snap back. He's got the shot. All right? So our D, my words of wisdom are, got to close the gap. You know, whichever side it is, if you're going to go baseline, I don't open up the basket. I don't stand here like this, going, hey, go. My angles are to go to this baseline, and I'm probably trying to close out about here. So my angle is this, right? When I'm pushing him to the top, my angle is up here to the foul line, right? This is where I'm playing. If he drops me here, my next angle is to come back to this sideline. So I'm trying to chop, and I'm trying to limit this. We do not want the guy getting all the way down and having to commit a help where the next pass is for the, the layup. 
So the way I do that is I stay wide. If I'm like this, even to get around me is hard, right? So I'm nice and wide. And when I play, that's the other thing I'll mention, is I know this guy's going to want to cross me at some stage because he can't just keep dribbling that way. Now, I'll just show you some bad techniques to look out for. Let's say I'm a bad ball handler, and this happens all the time. Guys will come, a lot of guys can't play, even in the NBA, look at Della Vadova and guys like this, great players, cannot face the guy that's guarding them. Has to play like this, right? Who does this? This is no good, right? We need to be face on. Now, bad ball handler, so you're D, you want to get a steal. You gotta watch out for my bad techniques. Here's one that always gets a steal. A guy that reverse dribbles and leaves it there. See this ball here? I want you to do that. Just give me a shitty reverse dribble, all right? If I'm defending and you do a reverse, boom, I've got that steal. Now you gotta watch out for that. So if I play a game, the first thing I do when a guy gets the ball, I don't even try and steal, I do this. I watch, change direction, all right? If I can get him to change again, I'm looking. I'm watching to see how's his technique. So if they've got a bad reverse, a good reverse looks like this, right? Here, and the ball's here. There's no chance to steal that. But a lot of guys won't dribble like that. Another bad thing a ball handler will do is they do this. Did you see that? Behind the back move? So there's two ways to go behind the back. One is where I'm in control and I'm playing like this, and I can keep facing this guy as long as I want. But bad dribblers, you'll see it all the time, we'll go like this and go like that. Now do one of those bad ones. So if I know he's bad, and I force you into that, right, I'm here. I'm instantly knowing that this guy cannot dribble the ball, and my next move is I'm getting a steal. Now when I played, I didn't take the steal straight away. I just watched him and go, all right, I can steal that ball, I can put him into a behind the back, and I can steal that ball. Now, when do I want the ball? Well, it's not in that moment, is it? So I don't want to give him my secret at the beginning of the game. I want to watch the clock and go, holy cow, this game, we're in the balance. We need something to happen. Now's my time. I'm going to push this guy into that bat. I'm stealing the ball. And now that layup matters. Now, do you see how I'm thinking through the game now? If I did that in the first quarter, do you reckon he's going to do that in the fourth? No. So we don't always want to steal the ball just because we can, right? We want to know that, hey, he's got a weakness. I know what it is. When the game matters, I'm taking the ball. So this is just the mindset of how I used to play, right? It was a real chess game of, you know, when the guy's on D, I used to watch him and go, can he defend? How does his footwork look? Does he cross and do that? Oh, okay. I know he does. That means I know I can do that step back move. So the game is more than just playing it. You really want to be analysing. Like my coach, this is not good by the way, but my coach always drew up, you know, playbooks like this of the opposition. And I'll be honest, I never read them, right? I don't recommend you don't do that, but, but my thought was this. The very first time down the court, I test my guy out instantly. I go full court, I instantly change in direction and I watch. I then watch how good he is on the left hand. I instantly change direction again. How did he turn? Did he face me? Has he got his back to me? Where can I steal the ball? Okay. Within the first minute of the game, that whole write up of him, if I really read that, that guy would have been in the NBA. Now I know he's not in the NBA, which means that how good is this guy? Right? We can work him out in no time. So, the game is about that. You should be looking at the players, watching their footwork, seeing what their D is like, and that's how you play this game. Anyway, what else do you want to work right, on? Now, let's go in. We're we'll start talking about some offensive stuff. So what we're going to do is this is a really good drill. Change you're working out the guys with. So when you get someone that can do you think maybe Sam or yeah, somebody, somebody's going to work really hard. Who do you think is going to be able to hit some jump shots in, in around the key? Who Who's a good shooter? Yeah. So one of the things I'm big on, as you can tell, is footwork. A lot of people got inefficient. And the speed of the game of basketball comes from your footwork. So some people say to me that, geez, you've got a really fast release. 
and I actually don't have a fast release. I've just got really efficient footwork. So it looks like I can be powering here and I'm already into my jump shot because I've got the right technique. So what I did with the guys that I'm training at the moment is we worked this drill. Now, the idea is to pick up each one of these markers and shoot and then we're, we're getting a square up drill. Now the key to it is to be able to square up each time and get a proper shot off. Now, I'll just see what your technique looks like to try it and we'll see if there's anything to correct. So what we're going to do is you're going to dribble through here, right? And you're going to pant on this and you're going to shoot. You're going to get your own rebound, yep, so just pretend you're doing it. Right, you shot that, get this ball and then hit the other one. Right, and then you would move up to the next cog. Right, and then you work your way up. Now the key is if you miss twice, like if you miss one side, you get a chance to make that. If you make that, you get another chance to make this. If you miss both of those shots, you've got to start again. Now the idea is to get around the key. So what I want you to do now is speed it up at game pace. So I want you to go hard into this shot. Hard. No, just start it off again. Right, that's pretty good. Get the ball. All right, now the key, what he's doing well, so he's, he's got good footwork, is on this side, we're bouncing and we're stepping onto the shot. Right, when I get that shot up, when I come here, I'm bouncing and I'm stepping onto this, this spot. Right, so then I'm bouncing here. To get efficient, I'm here. Right, when I come to this side, I'm bouncing. The ball bounces and I turn and I square. So anywhere I go, Right, I'm bouncing and I'm getting into that. I come around here, the ball's here, I'm bouncing and I'm stepping. Now it's sharp. All right, see how I'm doing this? I'm here, I'm bouncing and I'm here. Right, when I'm on this side, I'm bouncing and I'm tacking this to get back in. And we're squaring up. Now a lot of guys will fade. This side will go like this and this momentum will be like this. And you're doing that, right? We don't want that. You're squaring up, you're stopping. If anything, you're moving forward. So if anything, if I come here, if I can move like this, forward, that's all right. But we want to promote either forward or straight up. All right? Let's go hard. Hard. There's a stutter in that. Move up. That's good. Next one. All right, that's bad. I don't want that sort of footwork. So, you know, that side, give me the one, two. You're faded. That's all right. All right. You're back on that other spot. Now, yeah, yeah. I'm just going to show you, right? Don't judge me on everything, but the idea is we want to be attacking this like this, right? So up here. And then I get the ball and I'm back here and I'm back, right? If I shoot, let me get them in. Hang on. Oh, all right. I'm here. This, that shot's the hardest one for me because it's, it's game. All right, one. Here. All right, two. I'm here. Oh, that's a miss. All right, I'm here. I'm back here. All right, I'm up, up here. I'm trying to square up and get this. I'm bounced. I'm trying to get that technique wherever I am. Right, see how I balance and move forward there? I'm here. I missed. So I've got to get this one. Right. Right. Oh. Oh. Short. I got it. <laughs> nah. Ooh. Anyway, that's the idea. See, that's what happens. That's what happened to me. It's a hard one because you're at game pace. All right, let's go. Yeah. Stay at game pace. Hard. Keep going. 
Keep going. Keep going. Hit that one again. Move up. Hit that one. Move up. Did you miss two, did you? Now, the things that I'm noticing, right, I'm not sure whether I did it right, but what we want to try and do is we want to be on an angle of basketball. The ball's not out here to square up and do this. The ball has to be efficiently dribbled. So if I'm dribbling, it's got to be down here and I'm bouncing. Look, see how I bounce really tight. You know, wherever I am, when I'm ready, I bounce, I'm here. That's the shot. Here, I bounce and I'm into that shot. Right? It's here. Like I'm dribbling, everything's here. Whenever I'm ready, I'm ready to shoot, right? The ball's not like this, where it's loose and then I'm trying to shoot. Right? Get that ball down hard. Who wants to go? Let's go. All right? Bounce the ball tight, square up. Tight dribble. That's it. Tight dribble. Yeah, mate, do what you need to do, yeah. Take two dribbles there. All right, stop. See how he's having to hop that? That's because he's inefficient dribbling. Watch. When you, when you score this one, don't be afraid to go... Bounce, bounce into my shot, right? You gotta bounce, bounce. That's it. Right? This side, two bounces. That's it. Two bounces. Good. Two bounces. That's much better technique. Hit this one. Two bounces. Right? Two bounces. You can do three bounces if you need. Now, foul line. If you can hit it, hit that one. I hit every line, so. Right up to that sort of circle there. Get in there. Here, keep going. Hit this spot. You gotta flip the other side. Dribble around and square up on this one. If you need three, hit this one. Yep, foul line now. One side, the other, yeah, okay, and then square up the next way. Yep, square up the other way. You gotta go the other side, you've got two footwork, yep. So you go again, get your footwork right. You're not quite squared up. Is that two misses? All right, so the keys to that, right, is don't be afraid to take as many dribbles as you need, but the idea is to be efficient enough to get that short dribble in. Now, a drill that I do like to work on, which does work on this, is if Scotty rebounds for me, you know, again, I try and do this with some of the guys, is where we land on two feet, right, I'm here and I bounce and I step into the shot. And I take that shot. And then I come back here, I two feet, I bounce, and I step into this shot. Right? I come back, I'm on two feet, I stop, I come here. Now what I'm doing is I'm actually bouncing the ball and stepping to it. I'm here, I bounce it, and I step into this shot. Right? I should make that, but anyway. Hit me one more time. Right? Here, bounce, step, into an efficient shot. Alright? So who can do that? 
Give me, give me a shooter, anyone. What? You need to Yeah. Anyone? Anyone? Who wants to shoot? Yeah, you're the man. So two feet, bounce, step into the shot. Ready? Land on two feet. Land on two feet. Come at me. No. So what that is, that's slow. We can't have that technique. So again, I'm going to show you. Just come up here. Step next to me. So what we're doing is catching it here, and we're bouncing and then stepping. All right, so try on two feet, just stand still, yeah. Bounce it into a shot, right? Don't fade sideways. Go back, catch. Now the ball, push it out so it's like a game. See, it's nice. It's just here and I just step to it. Bounce it. Push that ball forward a bit, like you're about to go past someone. That's better. Right? See, I'll just say one thing that he's doing, and this all goes with where you pass someone, is what makes me efficient as a shooter is if I can be down here and I'm powering hard, but the ball's out as if I'm about to drive past the guy, but instead of going all the way, at any time that ball's powering, and I've got that right foot, I can go into my shot. The guy that's guarding me with the correct footwork is, as he power dribbles, he's still sliding. So he's here, and what's this guy doing? He's going into his shot. I can't recover to get back to that. So what I'm saying to you is, don't just go like this and go, and the bounce is here, and you're trying to go like here. It's here, push it out, and go and get the ball. Push it out, go get it. Push the ball forward, that's it. Right, that's better technique. Push it forward. Push it out. No. See, you did that little hop. So a good drill to practice this, which you can all do, right, to get the right footwork, is I can, with, with my ball, because I can come back here, and I can literally be going like this. Right? See how I'm doing that? And I'm just chasing the ball. So the ball's nice and relaxed. Wherever it is, I'm just pushing it out and I'm chasing it down. This is the right technique for shooting. Yeah. Oh wow. Alright, so we're talking about that like the movie you talked about before, about that big, the big foot yeah. to pull back and shoot the ball. Yeah. Alright, so some of that, that one I want to talk about. Well, I'm not going to be able to get blow past. I'll just show you a technique. I mean, it depends where you're talking, like, again, from a Offensive player's point of view, what we were talking about over there on the side, is I've got to create space, all right? If this guy's all up all over me, and I'm like, get up on me, and I'm going like this, and I'm trying to play, I can't play one-on-one. -on -one. So what would the first thing be if I was like stuck like this, right, is I've got to get down and pull. Now look where the ball has to go. It's down here, it's down here. Now for this guy, if he goes to pull it and he lunges, right, this is where I can attack feet Whatever, but I have to create space. So the very first thing in one-on-one -on -one is I'm going, well, how do I get this space to score? Right? If he's already off me, then I can make these moves and I'm ready to jump sideways or whatever. So it does depend, but this time get up on me. So if he's up guarding me, the first thing I want to do is I want to jab and then pull back. See if I can create space. Now if I've got space, my next thing is my power lunge. Now, we're talking about it. If you guys one-on-one -on -one move, Play good defense there. If my first step is here, he just slides. Right? You just cut it off. I'm done. I can't do anything. My first step is if I'm playing like this, ball here, if I can step and then try and get around that leg, this is how I've got to play the game. So we're trying to get a nice, big, long lunge. Now, the other thing I can do with this is I can play off the leg 
and pull back. So play up on me. So if I do this and I pull back, I can create a three-point shot. All right? If my ball ends up live, now I'm playing like this. But this is how you play the game. The game is played on this angle. It's either this angle or this angle, right? But I'm stepping and I'm pulling back. So if I'm going to play one-on-one -on -one and my dribble's live, so you go to D for a sec. The idea is to go, right, where am I going to get my shot? But I'm rocking like this. Now, if I commit to something, again, I've got that pullback, right? If it's bad footwork. Now, well, he has to have bad footwork for it. Let's say you're closing me out. He's closing me out. Right, and I go like this. This is where I've got to try and get it, right? So that's where the opportunity, because usually in a closeout, like he knows what we're doing. But if I'm running full pelt, usually I'm like this. If he goes, my next step is to go like that, right? So that's what you would look at. When someone's closing you out, you go, wow, if I can explode, so I'll close you out, you just explode. I don't really have much of a choice, right? So I go like that. Oh, well, I was waiting for your pullback, but yeah. So that's the first thing. If I'm playing D, you jab me, right? Now you're looking to get this leg off, right? So I'm going to look to drop step that defender. So again, if I'm playing one-on-one, -on -one, I'm trying to do this when I'm ready. But see where my ball is? A lot of guys get taught the triple threat on the right side, right? A lot of people play like this is your triple threat, right? Now you can play like this, but in actual fact, a lot of guys these days you'll see have it on their left hip. All right. The reason it's on the left hip is when I'm jabbing, if I want to keep going this side, the ball's here, but I can swing to get my momentum to my right. All right. So this is where a lot of times, and if I swing and I step back, it's really easy to get this shot. All right. So again, if you were playing one-on-one, -on -one, where do you hold your ball? Yeah, if I was here, you've got it there. Yeah. yeah, so you can do, like a triple threat, you want to be able to move the ball, but the ball should not move around the middle. So if you're going to move the ball, if I'm there, you've got to get it down, no, even lower, like this. All right? If you're doing at me and I'm playing, I've got to be down here. Right? If I'm going to swing it, it's got to be down here. You don't want to be swinging it through here, because now I'm putting the ball in play that you can get it. All right? But... Well, again, yeah, so if we have the footwork, um, you know, where I'm beating you, the, you know, I've got to beat you, they put you on the side. So if I'm good enough that I've got him on the side and you're defending me now, but he's here, I've got to be able to step sideways to get that shot. All right, on the reverse of this, well, the pullback only works if he changes this leg. So do it if you change this, it's here and it's a pullback there. Right? But that only works if he has bad uh, footwork. The other way that you'll see a lot of the NBA players play, they're here, get you on the side again, so you're on the side of me. So I open this up, but you're on the side. And again, it's a push here, but it's not an out like this. It's just a push hop. So the way to practice that again is with this technique I was teaching you before where we go like this and we go into our shot and we come back here and we go into our shot, you can add the extra step. So now I'm here and I'm jumping sideways to that shot, right? Same as this side. If I beat him and I go there, I'm pushing out here. This is a tough one because a lot harder to square up. But these techniques, I'm big on it's not always, just let me beat you for a sec, so you're going to play D. It's not always beat the guy and go to the hoop here, right? And loading it up here. What we want to do is we only need the guy on our side. Okay, so if I'm quick enough that I go power, he's on my side, I'm happy now. Right, I can go all the way I want, and that's my shot from out here. All right? So another thing I don't really, I try and promote with the guys we're training is when we make our move, we're trying to come up here, and we're trying to drop the ball out. We're not actually going up to the ring, because a lot of times in a game, you're not going to get that much of a step on a guy. So again, if I'm going to get D and you, if you can get to the side... So you beat me, and I'm here, that's it, right? As soon as the guy's on your side, you're in control of him. So that's really what you're trying to achieve. If you can beat him, 
that's unreal. But a lot of good defenders, the best you're going to do is you're going to get them on your side. So the, the, the moves we want to do, so this is probably a good idea to, one of the drills that you know, you've probably all seen, you know, this is a good one where you, you stand here and it's off one leg and you're flipping the ball up both sides, right? Off. So we start off with inside with an out, inside with an out, and then we go outside with an out, right? Outside with an out, outside with an out. These are all going to make you better finishes at the bucket, right? Then we go inside with an inside, inside with an inside. The idea is to try and get that reverse English on the ball like this, right? Both sides. Then it's outside with an inside, right? Outside with an inside, outside with an inside, outside with an inside. So you work all those four and then change it from here. So again, you might do the inside with the inside to start, right? Do all these and just get comfortable at making these finishes, then it's outside with the inside. Outside with the inside. Outside with the inside. Right? What else have we got there? So then it's outside, outside, say. Outside, outside. Again, trying to get that reverse on the board so you get comfortable at that sort of English. Right? And then, I don't know what else I've got, inside, outside, or whatever. Right? But you guys should practice that because when you're taking these moves to the hoop, we want to be getting there and actually finishing our plays out here. All right? Because if you're always going to the rack, the big guys are coming to swat you. All right? If I can get that distance, that's where we need to finish. So we want to practice a lot of that as well. All right. We're done. I don't know. That's pretty much it. All right. Now, if you do the session with Shane, all right, you session with Shane, like we just went through some stuff today, alright, you want to get better, you need to work at it, alright, this whole footwork and this ball handling and stuff, it really helps, really helps your game. Right, so, if you want to, as I'm sure, we'll just speak to Scott and we'll be... So how old are you guys, 14 are you? Yeah, 14. 14. I'll just say, like my journey, you know, Scotty says, you know, I did a lot of work, like, when I was probably 16, so two years from you guys' age, I started wearing ankle weights all day, to school, Everywhere, just wore them, right? I had to walk two k's of school. Crazy man, all right? so, I had ankle weights on because my dream was I was going to dunk the ball. When I'd come home, I'd do like six-week blocks of training. Did you ever dunk the ball? Yeah, yeah. I was up there, probably on the ring. I wasn't great at holding it, but I have dunked the ball. But like volleyballs and stuff, no problem. But you know, just holding the ball was a bit of a, you know, even though I can. I think at the time I was like 42 was my max. But, but now. This is the thing, when I went to college, I'll just finish what I said, so I was walking to school with ankle weights, then I come home, three times a week I would skip for half an hour with those ankle weights, right? Now the skipping, which we, we do have the ropes here, but what I would do is I'd start like a boxer for five, you know, do single legs, you know, like this, then I would bound for like 15 minutes straight like this, right? Now there's no real big impact, but if you did this for 15 minutes, your quads are going to split, your calves are going to like feel like they're burning. But you also did drill a little block at home. So yeah, I'm not saying, I'm just showing you what I did because yeah, a lot yeah. of people go, well, how did you get there? Right? And there were guys ahead of me. Like I wasn't in the, like I came from the third team at Nutterwadding and then eventually got up and made the state teams and all this sort of stuff. But how did I do it? I was on the move because I put all that extra effort in. Now I used to skip for half an hour with ankle weights, then after that, shoot for maybe two, three minutes. Then I'd mark out an area with three defensive slides, right? Good lengths, good lengths, like this. And I would do for a minute with ankle weights on defensive slides, right? As many as I could do with the ankle weights. After that, I'd shoot, I'd do it again, shoot, do it again. Then I'd get like a split level jump, like the stand there. And I would stand up on it, I'd jump off and I'd jump back up onto it, right? Right? With ankle weights on. Now, you, I don't say you go straight to that. You might have to build yourselves up. But then I'd do calf raises. I was doing fingertip push-ups, like 50 fingertip push-ups. I was doing ab workouts. I had this um, isometric or whatever it is where you get a rope and you have handles on it where you pull up as hard as you can. You pull out as hard as you can. You know, you bend it here and you pull up as hard as you can to tighten all your muscles. Now, my jump 
went from the bottom of the net, which the nets used to hang down lower than that, right, to being up at the ring in about a year. So you're talking 12 to 14 inches I got training six weeks blocks. Now what I'd do is I'd train for six weeks, my jump would come down, and then it'd start to come back. Then I'd rest. And in the two weeks I'd rest, I'd get like four inches better on my jump. Then I'd start training again. I'd lose a couple, and then it'd start to come back. And then when I'd rest, I'd get another four inches on my jump. Because your muscles then recover. So you're breaking them down. You're teaching them what you... See, our muscles are so strong that if I could fire every, like, every um, fiber in my muscle, I would snap my bone. So I can stay exactly the same size and double my strength by teaching my body to recruit the fiber. Now, this is what this movement, see that quick hit the ground, jump, hit the ground, jump. This is teaching the body to fire, 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 fire. And what would happen is when I take those ankle weights off and I'd go play, I felt like lightning. All of a sudden, I was like super quick on the court, all my explosion. By the time I was getting that ring, like I could jump from out here, like I could run as hard as I could, just go boom, and easily grab that ring, right? From outside that key, easy. I couldn't stand there, but. I don't want to injure anyone. I'll just tell you this story because people will say to me all the time, oh, you know, how were you so explosive? How come you could turn the guy in the backcourt three or four times? Right? This is what got me to the NBL was because it wasn't like I was natural. I actually trained my ass off to do it. And then no one could be, no one was in my physical condition. So I knew that if I went full court on the guy, I only had to do it two or three times and he was done. So I could outlast him every time. I just go full court, right, we do it the first time. Second time he tries to take me on, I know the third time he's bent over yeah. going, and it's and all over. It. And then, then what he would do, he'd be like, you just chuck it off and then, that's it. I just go, well, you guys are now in trouble because your point guard's no longer running your team. But how did I do it? And when I went to America, right, I'll never forget going to America, and I trained myself to that athleticism. I got recruited, I go over there, and there's two courts playing, and everyone was a black guy. And there were guys as small as me taking guys off the dribble and just going up and dunking on dudes. And I turned up and went, holy cow, man, I'm not even going to make this team, right? I go, jeez. But when we started to play, they did not have my... See, work ethic beats natural ability every day of the week, right? You'll get guys that you go, man, this guy's so gifted. I'm telling you, if you work harder, the, person, the coach is going to want the guy that's got the work ethic, not the natural athlete, okay? So that's my words of wisdom is you have to have that mindset of I've got to be a better athlete, like I can say, most of my games, even though the guards I was playing against, you know, were ex-NBA dudes and stuff, I never went into the game really worried too much about them. But I knew they did not want to have to deal with me. Now, that's funny because I wasn't the superstar, but, you know, that's, that's what sort of weaponry you can do. So you're probably, you know, still enjoying the game, that, but at some stage you've got to make that decision how good you want to be. And if you do want to be good, then these drills I'm teaching you here, it's up to you to take them to the next level, Right? So that's, that's what you've got to do. So, my God, how long does it take you half an hour ball handling a day? Half an hour. Half an hour. All right. All right. That's it. Hands in. Yeah. All right. Good job, guys. One, two, three. One, two, three. Blues. 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 No worries, man. Blues. Yeah, good job, guys. Okay. All right. Good luck. Thank you. Hopefully, you go as well. Good job, mate. No worries, boys. Good job, mate. All right. Tomorrow morning. I couldn't come last week because my mum's car got stolen, but I'll be coming. Okay. Yep. No drama. Hey, good work. All right. Good job, mate. Good job, mate. Oh, yeah.